The idea was to offer a, a GIS course, right, a course that taught students how to map spatial data and how to analyze spatial data, but using Boston as a sort of living classroom, and that could then provide the basis for um, studying and understanding what urban neighborhoods are like um, and learning the skills for doing such studies. So first, I've, I've been one of the key faculty pushing what at Harvard we call activity-based learning at Harvard, experiential learning other places. And the notion is that students learn a lot better when there's really a lot of hands-on uh, work going on uh, in the course. So this looked like a great opportunity for a different kind of activity-based learning course. In order to support this, so I'm the research director uh, of the Boston Area Research Initiative, a project that Chris Winship here is uh, the co-director of. And it, the point of the project is to establish a collaborative relationship between researchers, policymakers, and practitioners around the city of Boston. Right? And, and to promote projects that are of common interest that can enable us to advance social science and policy at the same time. And this has led to some really close and mutually beneficial relationships with city agencies. Um, and as a result of these relationships, there's been quite a bit of sharing of data and analyses back and forth. And so this course was sort of an opportunity to use some of those resources as a teaching tool. So the main uh, Harvard resource that we utilized in the course was um, WorldMap, which is supported at the Center for Geographic Analysis here. Um, and so we've been working with them for quite a while to, tr to develop an instantiation of world map called Boston Map. In the social sciences, we're going through something of a methodological rev revolution with the development of GIS or geographical information systems. So I thought it was very important that you know, students be exposed to this new methodology. I think really what was the flip was the learning the methodology with uh, a, a real world implication. And so this course kind of took a philosophy of, well, if you make it relevant to the students, they might really engage with what otherwise is a bunch of dry, you know, uh, equations and trying to deal with assumptions of empirical um, data collection, you know, th things of that nature that just describing it, I feel bored. Um, I think maybe that, that is the challenge of the course, right? We, we want our courses to do everything. You know, we want to imagine that they, that every course is the, is the new perfect course, you know, um, and, and so it would be important to figure out, you know, how, how, to, how to maintain the real benefits that we saw, greater engagement with the community, a sense of purpose in the course, um, and, and yet sort of trim back on some of the details that required, that required a, a pretty handsome investment. On, on the part of myself and the teaching fellow and the students themselves. The basic hope was just, could we engage students in a serious way? Um, would they end up with a more sophisticated understanding of Boston? Uh, would they learn a modest amount of sociological urban theory? Yeah. Um, I, the course exceeded expectations by enormous amounts. I mean, this was a, a grand slam home run.